Project Runway's guru, Tim Gunn. Glee star, Chris Colfer. Comedian, Kathy Griffin. Even President Obama, all saying the same thing. It will get better. It gets so much better. Because it does get better. It gets better. So what is everyone talking about? Well, something that looks a lot like this. You're a homo. A homo. Stupid queer. You are such a fairy. That's a fairy in your bag. Homo. Stop! You are such a homo. Stop! <laughs> oh. oh. Someone's getting mad. Oh. Harmless bullying? A simple part of growing up? Or a tragic epidemic that leaves entire schools heartbroken? Parents childless and families torn apart. We all remember just this fall, Rutgers University freshman Tyler Clementi, who jumped to his death. He had allegedly had an intimate experience with another man, and it had been broadcast to the campus via his roommate's webcam. Hey everyone, it's Joe Madden here from Good Charlotte. Celebrities may be willing to stop or at least talk about gay bullying. But what about your average bystander? Do we feel compelled to jump in when the stakes are high? In light of these recent tragedies, we decided it was time to test it out and rigged this busy boardwalk in Long Beach, New York with hidden cameras. We also hire actors to play bigoted bullies and a defenseless victim, all to see how people will react when confronted face to face with gay bullying. Don't. No, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? As our brutal teens begin to berate their victim, give me, give me, give me, give me it, give me it. We wait to see what bystanders will do. So what are we doing today, huh? What are you doing, homo? We begin to notice that despite the teens' homophobic slurs and taunting, Stop crying, you stupid homo. Say goodbye Stop to your crying. social life. Stop. Most people walk by. This guy's a homo. This guy like Families, to make out with other couples, oh, yeah, you were. even other teens pass by without saying a word. Shut up, you homo. Stop. You're disgusting. Why are you You're disgusting. Because Some people watch in the distance. It's gross. You're a disgusting homo. Pausing for a moment to look and stare, but eventually walk away. You are so disgusting. What is this? They tell us it simply wasn't their business to get involved. Why not get involved? Uh, it wasn't at that point yet where I felt I should just jump in. I am a little guy. If somebody were to ask you, why didn't you do more, what would you say? I just didn't feel it was my place to step in yet. It hadn't gone far enough. Right. So how far does it have to go? Fifteen minutes go by and no one has intervened to help our gay teen. Disturbing statistics show gay teens often face harassment at school and are three times more likely to commit suicide than their straight peers. Talk about staying still. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about Hold this. Up. Hold up. Back on our boardwalk, we're still waiting for someone to notice our teen's plight and get involved. And then we see this woman out for her morning jog, taking some extra time to stretch on the sidelines. Do you have a poster on your wall that says, I love Justin Bieber? She seems to hear and see everything, even calling over her friend and explaining the dilemma. Who do you know here? Is your boyfriend here? Is that who you know? God, I'd like to see someone defend you. Your boyfriend's not here. He's not going to come to the rescue. Stop oh saying Moments later, they've heard enough. Really? Come on, what? Jay. Please leave him alone. This is none of your guys' business. I don't know. You all right? You good? All right, but... This kid was gay. Why do I want to be his friend? So what? Frustrated. We don't want to hang out with him. So what does it have to do with anything? If he's gay or not. Be nice. It has everything to do with it. Hi, guys. My name is John Quinones, and we're with ABC News. Why did you... A lot of other people just walked by, and... You stopped. You didn't have to stop. Right? I stopped because at first I thought they were friends, but then I saw them grab his bag and they were like, "Who will defend? who's going to defend you? No one's standing by you. So I'm like, oh, are they going to hurt him right now? Why should we care? We should care because, you know, we're, we're life short, man. We're all humans. We've got to help out. You know, yeah. if somebody wants to see somebody in a little trouble. There's too many problems in this world. Focus on like what people are. You know, there's enough going on. Tragedy, deaths, people are crazy. They worry about someone's gay or whatever, race or whatever they are. It's just not worth it. And Did they didn't say so they were in high school. I was trying to smack some sense into them. I said, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> 
In the next few hours, we see stranger after stranger step in, just like the young couple before them. You don't like him being gay? Don't, don't talk to him. We don't, we don't, don't talk to him anymore. Don't talk we to don't him. talk to him. I'm no, no, no. sick of you guys. I'm oh, sick of you freaking... Look, this is none of your business. We're just like talking with a friend, all right? Like, we're just we're just talking with like, a friend, we're, right? We're just, talk, just look, stuff, we're just talking with him because you know we, we don't. I don't like what I'm hearing. He's, he's made a choice. Don't uh, don't we don't. A what his choice is? You make Wait. a choice and walk away. Leave him alone. The kindness hits close to home for our actor Jake Shatsky, who has had his share of real life bullying. You get harassed in this day and age. Um, yeah, in middle school, just a lot of teasing for singing and dancing because I'm a boy, and it really did hurt me. And, I'd spent a lot of nights crying over it. What do so, they say? What kinds um, of things? Obviously gay or a loser or has no friends or... You've heard this before. Yeah. In middle school, I let this stuff bother me so much. I would cry a lot over it about being harassed. And I thought I was so alone because I was this out of the norm kid. I've been put in situations and where I live or like in my school and with like other kids where no one really cared to stick up for me. But perhaps no one understands better than this guy. Are you sure? Wait, you like are guys, you sure? Huh? Yo, you just want to go, dude? And they're, they're holding you. Is that his bag? Is yeah. that his bag? Yeah, it's his bag. Give me the bag. Thank leave you. Leave the kid alone. He just wants to go. Let him go. He wants to live his life. Let him live his dude, life. It's no big deal. It's, it's, like really it's, it's, it's just a business. We're talking. just trying to deal this with the situation. I'm with dealing him being with gay. the situation right now. Huh. What was the point of that? You're gonna scare him straight? What's the point? It's the not right. Let, and you wanted to what? Beat him up? You know what I mean? Think about it, dude. We're just giving him some tough skin. We're a self-professed former bully, Ken Carr not only stops the taunting, but even tries to teach the boys a life lesson. Whether you guys see it now or not, I was just like you at your age too, and I'm a lot older than you guys now, and you're wrong right now, and you don't, you don't understand how wrong you are. I was wrong. There's all sorts of wrong. What are you going to do, ride past and let a kid get beat up for being gay? And yet, plenty of people do just ride by. Oh but in our very last take of the day, we meet these inspiring young girls. Ironically, a group of high schoolers themselves. He's gay. So, so it's a problem. As soon as they hear what's going on, they're in the mix, taking the bullies on full force. You're picking on someone. Well, then leave him alone. They're trying to that help him out. Be, that's not helping anyone now. And then they offer a friendly embrace to help comfort our victim. You just don't talk to him. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think it does matter. Actually. I've had yeah, plenty of friends that all of a sudden just came well, out. You need to pick and friends, why are you defending him so much? Are you guys they aren't backing down. It's time to meet these brave teens and find out why. Hi What's there. going on here? I'm John Kenyon. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? <laughs> it's part of a TV show called What Would You Do? <laughs> Why did you get involved? Like, we felt that even though he's gay, it doesn't matter. Like, you still don't talk to him like that because he's still a human being. Like, no, that's not right. And if he's gay, you guys don't have to be his friend. Like, you guys can just leave him and be like, you're on your own. Whatever. But don't sit up here and patronize him because what if he goes home and kills himself the next day? Suicide, something that serious. It's gay people kill themselves all the time because other people don't accept them. What did you think of him, Jake? He yeah. thought these are four of the most brave teenagers, teenage girls I've ever seen. Brave. So remarkable. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Thank and you. Don't mess with him again. <laughs> <laughs>